Okay, here we have an example of how a position works. And um, so here we have white is trying to queen, but the problem is that black is controlling the queening square right now. So white wants to squeeze black out of the queening square. So white accomplishes the squeeze through a position. Now what does a position mean? A position means this is a position. Black, black and white's king are close to each other. They're directly across each other with one square apart. Now if it's three squares apart, that's also considered direct um, direct opposition because if either side moves and the other side can oppose them by also moving in the same direction so ultimately it's going to wind up um, like this but both kings being directly uh, against each other so this particular um, situation where with the two sides oppose each other is, um, is a very classical situation and it is to the advantage of it is to the advantage of um, wh whichever side is not is not their turn to act because uh, because the other side is then forced to give up ground by moving into an inferior um, spot so in this particular example since it's black's turn to act therefore black um, has to move and black is forced to move into e1 I mean into e8 because otherwise white will easily win the game by moving it by controlling the queening square so once black moves into e8 white can advance the pawn without check and then black is squeezed out of the winning square of the queening square and then white moves in and now white controls the queening square and it's game over here we can see how the game actually ends but it's pretty much uh, standard operating procedure from this point on so the concept of opposition um, is very important here because we see how when the two kings are opposed to each other um, it is never you always want to be the one who is not whose turn is not to act correctly if black if it's white's turn right now, then black draws. Because if it's white's turn, then white must move somewhere. And black, all black has to do is make sure that whenever white comes to d6, black is on d8. And and white will never never be able to win. Because if white is not on d... Uh, I'm sorry, if white is not on d6, when white pushes the pawn, then the pawn will be gobbled up by black. So white has to be either on d6 or on e6 when white pushes the pawn. And if that is the case, then then black will simply move into the queening square. And it's a drawn game, as we have seen in the previous video. Because if you advance to the 7th rank with check, then it's always going to be a drawn game. Black moves into the queening square, and now white must either give up the pawn or force a stalemate. So, um, so again, so this is um, this 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 particular um, setup here must be mem memorized by every uh, good player because they need to know because they need to memorize and they need to remember that opposition is key to these kind of end games where there are two kings and one pawn, and if white can manage to get um, to get the opposition, then white can force queen the pawn, otherwise it's going to be a draw.